Hello everyone, this is ASM Arif welcoming you in my new tutorial. Today I'll show you how to edit image with the Photoshop Lightroom and the Photoshop CC Creative Cloud version. Okay, now at first I want to say one thing mm, uh, the slideshow which one you seen at first of my video this slideshow is made by Firoz Design and I'm giving thanks to Firoz Design if you want to learn how to make this type of slideshow in the Premiere Pro or After Effects and you can go that channel and I'll give you that channel link in the video description don't forget to subscribe okay then let's start this one is a photo of my raw, uh, raw photo that is the uh, Nikon 610 I used this one today I uh, use this one uh, click uh, in a botanical garden and this is our model and I will edit this one I have a, a preset uh, and I will uh, edit this preset actually okay this preset okay here is the basic things uh, you are watching here the exposure minus 0.36 the contrast plus 17 and the highlighted minus 76 shadow I'll reduce the shadow and black is I'll reduce the blacks okay and then the saturation I'll just enhance the saturation uh, I'll provide this uh, preset in the video description don't forget to download this one and apply in your photos okay uh, then I'll just go to the color hue saturation okay saturation and hue luminance luminance this one is the luminance I'll mm, increase the luminance of this one and uh, reduce the saturation this is the saturation okay little bit okay I'll reduce the saturation luminance of the red just because of red is too much saturated or over saturated okay then then I will export file export and this box will appear on your screen and I added the watermark and then I mm, give this one open with Adobe Photoshop CC and click the export it will automatically open in this Photoshop it will take time let's wait okay it's loading okay this one is exporting okay export complete and I'm closing this window this photo will open in this window in a Photoshop window okay yes with a watermark and now we'll do the basic correction or color correction in this screen okay here is some face uh, correction we'll go to the camera raw filter and the sharpening I will give amount and luminance also and then color color I'll I'll go to the hue option hue saturation and luminance three options or three tabs over there I'll go to the hue option and I'll reduce the yellow hue and the green hue okay and then I'll reduce little bit red okay and then the luminance I'll reduce the luminance of green just because of its uh, in this green uh, it's um, just uh, distracting the audience okay I'll reduce always the yellow hue and saturation also okay and uh, here is some mm, the unnecessary pixel or human now I'll reduce this one okay press okay difference between the previous one and uh, okay. too much light over there it is uh, distracting the um, audience okay now I'll reduce this one I'll select this thing like that and go to the edit and go to the fill fill option uh, contact error and press the contact error okay gone 
this is gone and I will reduce this one also edit fill and contact error it's gone okay unnecessary mm, things gone and now I'll go to the filter and the fortitude filter okay then the sharpness okay brightness then hit ok ok uh, then I'll mask it and uh, reverse mask control I and then I'll take the brush and make it white and I'll reduce the brush size and brush over there okay I'm brushing the face and making it soft actually I have to adjust the hand color and the face color you know that the hand color and the face color is not same and now I will apply the brush over there I will take the color from the color picker over there and I will brush here ok I will reducing the brush size opacity and flow okay then this thing and soft light and I'll add another thing which is the flow this one and I'll give this one and uh, the soft light okay now you can measure the hand color or uh, uh, you can brush it again or you can make this layer this layer control J okay and you have to mask and you have to reduce the extra light from there and you have to mask it you know that okay here is extra light okay now you have to mask this one also here is unnecessary lights you know that when I have done the brush and it goes outside of the hand or area ok now press ok now I'll make a group and go to camera raw filter and the hue I'll reduce the hue like that and don't forget to reduce the aqua and the blue the luminance also hit ok previous and now now okay uh, I'll go to the gradient map and choose this gradient and then the multiply or the soft light and then fill I will reduce the fill 
then one thing is that you have to control the fill I will take I will um, 8% or the 7 or 9% 9% enough and now I will go to the lo color lookup color lookup and the horror blue and I will keep it 4% and then I will take another new layer and then I will give a white background over there and you have to opacity you have to make it opacity 100% and the flow 100% and then press ok control T and give the extra thing here press ok and then I will replace here on light now then uh, I'll go to the light option here the light and then I'll press over there and I'll make it blending mode to screen and I'll re I'll just give it no not like that on the lighter one and I'll do it the Restylize layer, the filter, blur, and the Gaussian blur. This one, and then I'll reuse the fill, and then I'll add the extra gradient over there. One thing is that don't forget to give it zero percent and two fifty percent. Okay, press okay, and reduce the opacity this one is a new image new image and this one is the previous image before and after thank you so much don't forget to subscribe my channel like share and if you have any query please let me know and you will have to comment on my video description or you can send me sms on facebook instagram or twitter thank you so much